Power Rangers just got a recent upgrade to Total Badasses thanks to the much talked about Hyper Violent Short. But we're going to list TV characters that were Total Badasses right out of the gate. What constitutes a badass? Well, for the purposes of our list, it's a good guy that kicks ass like a bad guy. Let's get started. Number 10, Arya Stark from Game of Thrones. That's right, we're starting this list off with a little girl. But that little girl has played sidekick to most of the badass characters of Game of Thrones, from Roberto Downey Jr., the Swordmaster, to Scary Changing Face Man, and the Hound. That's his actual name. And now, like Highlander, Arya has absorbed their power to become the scariest murder prodigy in Westeros. Who needs dragons when you've got this much attitude? Fine little blade. Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. <laughs> Damn. That's cold. Number nine, Peggy Carter from Agent Carter. Her show plays a lot of lip service to Captain America, but at this point, Carter must have beaten up just as many fools as the Star Spangled Avenger. And she does it in heels. Let's see Cap do that. Number eight, Oliver Queen from Arrow. After five grueling, life-altering years abroad, Oliver Queen was honed into a one-man murder machine. He's toned down his methods over the years and may put less bodies in the Starling City morgue, but that just means the emergency room must be full up to bursting. In the show, he's a brooding vigilante in the Dark Knight mold. We're all hoping he grows out that Arrow Flynn and finally adds the green in front of that Arrow moniker. In the meantime, you might want to commit your crimes in a different zip code. Number seven, Richard Haro from Boardwalk Empire. Richard is the World War I sniper with a face of tin and a heart of gold. Haro may not have liked killing, but there are a few better at it on the show. Best exemplified when Haro went on a one-man mission to save his best friend's kid from a mobster-filled mansion. Number six, Russ Cole from True Detective. The pinnacle of the McConaissance, Matthew McConaughey turned in an amazing performance as haunted perpetual pontificator Russ Cole. But let's not forget, Russ could kick some major ass when the situation called for it, and even when it didn't. Remember that completely avoidable undercover mission where Russ got roped into knocking over a gang stronghold with biker meth heads? Which resulted in that spectacular single take escape. Ah, good times. Number five, Kato from Green Hornet. Two words, Bruce Lee. You remember at the end of the first Matrix when Neo Flex and reality warped around him? Bruce Lee could do that in real life. And his first American role was as the Green Hornet's faithful sidekick, Kato. Yeah, he was a sidekick, but everyone knew who the real threat was. When Batman and Robin tussled with the Green Hornet and Kato, Lee was supposed to lose to the much more popular Robin. Yeah, Lee wasn't down with that. And everybody involved agreed to let it be a draw. I wonder why. Number four, Elizabeth Jennings from The Americans. Elizabeth is the classic Carrie Russell girl next door. That girl next door received harsh Soviet spy training that would make the Black Widow piss her leather panties. Elizabeth could murk you before her on-screen hubby, Matthew Reese, can be pouty about it and then make a killer apple pie. Literally kill her, though. Number three, Mike Ehrmantraut from Breaking Bad. If Walt was your dad, if your dad decided to cook meth, and Gus was your overbearing boss, if your boss had decided to cook meth, then Mike was definitely your doting granddad that shot fools in the face instead of rounds of golf. What pushes Mike off the bad guy list and onto the badass list? The fact that his only weaknesses were his love for his granddaughter and his dedication to the guys that work for him. Thank you, Better Call Saul, for bringing everyone's favorite grizzled murder grandpa back to TV. Number two, Claudette Wims from The Shield. Why Claudette instead of the series protagonist Vic Mackey? Two things, Mackey is hands down the villain of the story, and two, CCH Pounder. CC Pounder can reduce you to a shell of your former self with just a withering glare. You know what you're doing, son? Okay, Claudette, I'll do whatever you want. No wonder the DCAU chose her to voice the one woman that could shut down Batman. Who are you people? That's a national security matter. And if I were you, I wouldn't probe the situation too closely. Rich boy. Obviously, this list is all live-action TV badasses. Otherwise, Waller and a ton of other characters would be on it, too. Like Batman, Optimus Prime, Finn, and Zuko from the Avatar series. But they're not. So on to our number one, which is Omar from The Wire. The man, the myth, the legend, and the one name always mentioned when your friend tries to get you to watch The Wire. Michael Kenneth Williams is magnetic in the role, whether he's capping fools in the street. Hey, now. or playing lawyers for fools in the courtroom. You're stealing from those who themselves are stealing the lifeblood from our city. You are a parasite who leeches off Just like you, the culture man. of drugs. Excuse me? What? There's no badass that has so transcended the medium to be as mythic to those who watch the show as he is to those that live in it. I dare you to watch The Wire and not have Omar be your favorite character. Okay, maybe Lester. Lester's pretty dope too. And that's Sourcefed Nerd's top 10 TV badasses. Who's your favorite TV badass? Let us know in the comments below. I pity the fool that crosses these badasses.